Hey guys, it's XTC and welcome to episode 77 of my Let's Play. And today, there are a few things I want to do. I want to work on my uh, little storage system. Storage? Crating system, I guess you would call it downstairs. And I'm failing at this. I need 10. I need, I'm going to get myself 10 more carpenters. There we go. Why? Oh, I already have one. Oh well. I'll just make it. I'm sure I'll use the other extra one in a moment. That's because I've uh, I've sorted out a few things with these chests and carpenters. Um, right now, at the moment, over here, I'm producing a bunch of just normal gates, uh, a few red uh, redstone golden chipsets, and these redstone chipsets for the gates. And actually, don't need any more of these. Got plenty in there. Down here, you'll see what I've been doing. I've made a better system, and you can see whoa, what happened. All I did was um, I basically swapped the wiring around. The water is now on this side, and goes in between and fills them all up. And on each of these carpenters has its own gate. Just the basic ones, not iron ones. I got rid of those. Um, if it has work, switch on this pipe. And these are power switch pipes, just along here, as you can see. So basically, when one of these carpenters has work, like if I give it dirt to create, it now has work. It will switch on, as you can see, switch on the pipe, and allow power to flow into the carpenter. And power will only flow into this carpenter. Um, unlike before, where it was uh, flowing to everyone whenever one of just one of them had work to do, so it was kind of wasteful. But now it's a lot better. I like the system a lot more, although it does require a bunch of gates. They're relatively cheap to make, and it requires one redstone and a bit of build craft energy. So that's what I've been doing. I need three more to finish off the system, plus these ten carpenters I'm going to place down. Why do I need these ten? You ask because once I've created all these items, I need to uncrate them when I need to use it. And for stuff like... Oh, I added ash, by the way. So now I have exactly ten things I'm going to create. So I decided not to create wood and... Uh, what else? Sugar cane. Yeah, not that stuff. I'll leave it. But if I do want to do it, I can just move this across and add one more. But it's not a priority at the moment. Um, stuff like appetite and maybe not yeah silver coal all this kind of stuff they're used in crafting recipes like uh, in my automated crafting tables over there um, and so if they're all in the crated form like a uh, crated appetite uh, over here if they're all in this crated form in my chests um, whenever my crafting system tries to make fertilizer using appetite, oops, using appetite, uh, you can't do it because it doesn't know where to get appetite from because it's all crated. So I need the system to be able to automatically uncrate them. So, unfortunately that means I have to build another 10 carpenters to uncrate everything that I crate. Crafting, is that what I want? I think so. I'll need 10 of them. Don't have enough. I'll work on that. So, each one of these will have their own recipe. And I need a... Just a normal pipe stone, there we go. One of these across here to bridge the gap. And probably one on this side as well. and I need a bunch of crafting pipes along here as well. So that, well, that's what I've been doing in this room. It's working a lot better and these guys are working faster as a result of this change. Um, they're getting more energy because before, as I said, energy was getting distributed between all 10 machines even though they didn't need it. So that was uh, extremely wasteful. I also worked on here a bit. You might have noticed there's one more tank. I just basically moved everything across, um, chucked all the stuff in cans, moved the tanks across and chucked the stuff back in. 
And now I've got this little thing here. It says if the tank is full, give a red pipe signal. And when these guys get a red pipe signal, disable the pipe. So when these tanks are full, it's going to stop feeding fertilizer and sugar cane and keep making stuff when it doesn't need to. So, like I said, these are these gates very useful. So I'm very glad that I started making them. I'm sure I'll find more uses for them later on as well. Let's see how's this guy going. Nice. I've been making these so I can make my logistics pipes. Okay. That's my glass. Need some redstone torches. Well, I guess I did teach my system how to make them, did I? I did. I'm going to go change that recipe. So I don't have to do it manually. Let's have a look. Should be over here somewhere. I'll have to go behind. Just looking, looking, looking. No idea where that recipe is. And I guess while you're waiting, you can have a look at all the recipes I have in here. Nope, check that one. Can't be on the other side, can it? Might be. Oh, what happened here? Come on, oh, there they are. What? What happened to that golden gear? Oh, wells. There we go. Like that one much better. Import. Nice. Oh wait. That means I have to yeah, I'm gonna have to wait. Oh. What's this one? Oh that's right, the supply. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for another two golden chipsets before I can craft myself up some more logistics pipes. I don't have them yet, do I? Nope. Okay. I'll be right back when that's all done. Alright, here I am, back in this room, and you can see I'm creating up some dirt, and I don't know why I'd seen no recipe, there is a recipe that right there. Alright, okay. And I've also been creating up some cobblestone as well, and gravel. So that's all good, um, all these, oops, all the logistics pipes are now in position, except uh, they don't have a recipe yet. And I'll demonstrate quickly how this will work. You just have to put in one of the crated items and it will do that. And all you have to tell the logistic pipe is to put in one of these and you'll get nine of these out. And that's how it's going to work. So if I put one in, it's going to connect, have enough energy to uncrate it, and I'll get my nine cobblestone. So that's how that works. Where's my cobblestone? I'll chuck that in there, get created again. And yeah, so that's all done. All the gates are now on. Yep, that all that has worked. Switch on pipe. And I know this pipe is really long and people are going to complain about energy loss and all that. I'm not really concerned about it. It's fine. It's not that bad. It'll do, and it doesn't need much energy to uncrate anyway, so it doesn't matter. And back up here. I'm just trying to sort out my chest down here a bit. Uh, basically how I'm going to have it work is this chest is going to be full of crated cobblestone and only crated cobblestone. And this chest will be all the crated items as well as sand. And then um, the rest of these will be just normal as they are. So I took the crated silver out of here. So I put the polymorphic item sink and all that back in. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't need to use an item sink for this. But for now I will, because I've still got a bunch of cobblestone that needs dealing with in here. If 
for some reason control shift click doesn't work from your inventory tweaks from time to time. Oh. Sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't work. Don't know why. Oops. He took my pipes. Where did they go? Probably in here. Yeah, they, they went there. Oh, I will not need them. Doesn't matter. Yep, so that's the deal with what's going on in here. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna work on this a bit more. There's a few things that need to be done. Yeah, one thing I've noticed that is uh, when I chuck in a lot of cobblestone or whatever, like dirt at once, like into this uh, sorting machine, some of them fall out of the pipe. Don't know why, but it's just. It only happens when I put in a lot at once, so it should be okay. She'll sort it itself out. I'm gonna put all the recipes in here, and I'll be right back. Wow, will you just look at that? My cobblestone chest is nice and neat. Wow, that's crazy. Oops, that's gravel. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. That's all the cobblestone I have in nice crates. Isn't that amazing? That was all my dirt. All my coal, all my redstone. Wow, this is crazy, eh? Yeah. Now that I think about it, I probably should have created Nikolite, but it's not a big deal. And I didn't really need to create my appetite. But if the need ever arises, um, I'll create my Nikolite instead of my appetite. I can switch them around. And one thing I did notice, um, Appetite does have an EMC value. And it just happens so, one piece of Appetite is the same as a piece of gunpowder, both 192 EMC. So, if I ever get desperate for Appetite, I can always use some of this good stuff. Which is nice. Okay, I'll chuck this into be crated. Oops, not my bag. Now, to deal with this... This chest is nearly always full, and anything that gets uh, if it gets full, all the sugar cane just gets backlogged inside here. So I'm going to change that. Okay, so I'm going to use make use of something known as an advanced insertion pipe, and I will show you how that is crafted in just a sec once I get the materials for it. I'll need one redstone and two smooth stone and a piece of glass. There we go, ta-da! Advanced insertion pipe. And I need to craft myself, hmm, I think two more ender chests. If I can get the materials for it, that is. I also get where I'll keep my blaze rods. Five, six, seven, eight. And I need was it two obsidian for each chest. Then I needed two ender pearls. Whoops, not three, two. I need wool. Which I've got plenty of. I'll request that I don't want to go look around in my chests. There we go, wool. Two wool. And two chests, of course. And I'm hoping I remember the recipe. Oops. Obsidian does not go there. Blaze rod in the corners. That that and the chest goes in the middle, I think. And I'm waiting, waiting, there we go. Yes, correct. Nice. And they're going to be these two ender chests are gonna be this colour. That is light blue, I think. Should have some leftover dye from last time. Just two, okay. I'll grab a bunch more. Got some leftover EMC from last time. Yeah, that should be just enough to colour both of them. And I need some basic pipes. Stone ones would be nice. Hopefully that's enough. Alright. Oh, let's go deal with this side first. Let's show the sugar cane. Basically, how the advanced insertion pipe works is um, it's going to try and route any items that passes through it. Oops. Try and route 
try and route any item that passes through it to the first inventory it can find. And if it can't, it will route it to the next inventory. So first I want all the sugar cane to go into that chest. And it fell. Great. It's not what I wanted to happen. Should work now. So it's going to try and route stuff to there. If it can't, it's going to route to the next inventory. Which is going to be up there. As you can see, it can't fit, so it's going to go up this path to this chest. Alright, so you see, once this is full, everything's going to go in this one. And now I actually don't want it to go into that at the moment. I need to colour it this first. There we go. Now you guys can go in. So it's going to first try and go into this one because it's closer. If not, it's going to go into this one. And that, as you would probably realise, is my input chest. And that input chest is connected to my whole sorting system. So from now on, any sugar cane that gets uh, overflowed and into that chest. I quickly jump into my house through here. We'll land in basically this chest here. And if there's any, I'll chuck this stuff in. We'll get pulled downstairs to my carpenters, where they'll get crated. Which is awesome, isn't it? Um, I think it's this one. Nope, the other side. Okay, no sugar cane is coming this way. Why is that? I requested... Okay, I'm guessing one of one of the uh, polymorphic items thinks I've taken the sugar cane first. But it's alright, I'll make sure that doesn't happen by... Let's see... Would be in here? Nope. Probably in this chest. Yeah, that's where all my sugar cane's gone. Or tried to go to. Take it out and put it in there. Now it will try and go downstairs. So check this for more sugar cane in the system. Alright, good. So now the sugar cane should be going down. Yep, you can see it right down there. Going down to my carpenter system. And that's what I'm going to do with this as well. So right now, everything's going straight into one of these chests. That's not going to happen. It's going to try and insert it. Oops. Don't want it there. It's going to try and insert it into this chest. But if it can't, it's going to go to... I don't need that there. That's a peat chest. Hmm. Do I want to create peat? Oh. Right. Smelting, yep. Oh, you can turn peat into ash. I did not know that. Okay, good. Alright. So, I definitely do want to do it for this, though. Because this is the one that keeps overflowing. Basically, get rid of this. Advanced insertion pipe. First, into this one. If not, then do I both... I want them to both connect. I think they should. Alright. Bit of digging to do. Down into there. Come on. Okay. And probably dig down here as well. I'll find it. There it is. Right there. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Isn't it? Fine. Dig over this side then. There we go. Avoid that engine. Let me down here. Do not do that. Okay, so I'm going to have to connect these two somehow. How about this? Uh, yep, 
that'll be fine. Oh no, I don't have enough pipes. I don't think. There we go. Yeah, I don't have enough pipes. So that's gonna go in, so they never touch. I think that's a good good system. Works well. And I am out of no I'm not. Awesome. Oops. There we go. They're both now connected to this chest. And any overflow basically will flow into this chest and Oh, I don't know what's gonna happen to the peat that overflows, but I know that any oh ouch. Hello. Any wood that overflows will get crated. So that's sweet. Glad to have that fixed. Well, that dealt with, not really fixed. And now all these chests should be working appropriately. And I can actually um, put more stuff in here and I don't need the item sink anymore. Do I have a spare polymorphic? I don't. Do I? If I don't, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. And I'll probably have to rename that. Alright, so here are my forestry farms. Well, two of them. And they're up and running again. I've uh, done a bit of work piping and logistics wise and I'll go through them in a bit. Just a sec. There's something I want to make before I go on to explain what I've done here. First being an ender chest. Yep, you guys all know that recipe. And the next one being I need a macerator. And if you didn't know, if you uh, macerate your blaze rods, you get five blaze powder as opposed to a standard two or three. You get two. It used to be three. I think they changed it to two now. But when you macerate it, you still get five, which is awesome. And if I was to do this. I'd get something called the ender pouch. And the ender pouch is awesome. So right click, you'll see it opens and ender bag. And it works just like an ender chest. Um, actually, I'm going to put this downstairs in my basement. Basically, you can connect your ender bag to any ender chest by right clicking on them. So if I want this ender bag of mine to be um, that color, right click. And now I can access whatever's in there. And you notice when I right click on this bag, that chest down there opens as well, so that's awesome. You know, if I want it to be green, 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 I want it to be that, it's all cool. So, very handy as you can tell. There's something I want to make down here. Why down here? Simply because. Sweet, you can open them still. Alright, simply because. This is where all my logistics stuff is, and I'm going to have a supply pipe. Hmm. What to keep in here? Basically, what I want to happen is have like a quick kit in this bag. So, you know, anything I can put in here, I guess. Let's see, what do I want to supply myself with? So, I'm going to grab some of the stuff I don't need in this bag out. And, so. So what do I want? I always want to have some wood with me, right? So I can just simply do that. It'll keep this bag supplied with wood, I mean this chest. And when I'm on the go, I can just get the wood out of this bag. Maybe a stack of redstone. Stack, half stack of glowstone. What else? So just basic stuff. Iron, copper, tin. Stuff that I kind of want on me. And the good thing about this is, uh, obviously, you'll keep getting resupplied. Well, I'll just bring a whole stack. Stack of tin, copper, and iron. And half a stack of gold. Maybe even some bronze. Uh, don't need bronze on me. Gold, copper, tin, iron, and I'm running out of space, so dear. 
I should probably use a chassis pipe here, so I can have two supply modules, is that what they're called? I think it's passive. Yeah, passive supply. Yeah, you know what, I might do that. But, you guys get the gist of this, yeah? So this stuff gets supplied, when I'm on the go, I can just open up and access the materials, so that's awesome. Going to be very handy, obviously. And I'm just going to leave the color as white, white, white. And I'll explain what I've done here. So over here, this uh, area has got a complete rework. Um, this is what it was before. It had the advanced insertion pipe. Um, it goes to that, fills it up. But when it's full, it goes this way and connected to this uh, logistics pipe here, which goes downstairs through here and it goes to this pipe and this pipe here is set as a default route so anything in the system such as dirt or sand or random stuff that comes out of the farms will end up in this chest and get sorted over here it's just a provider pipe so stuff shouldn't go in here by itself I've kept this chest supplied with a bunch of peat and some saplings with the provider pipe here and so that pipe comes up here and it will keep this peat engine here supplied with four peat at all times as well as this arboretum with humus and the saplings and any sand that comes out of here will come this way down to the default route and that's why these two are connected and a little gate I added here if there's space in inventory switch on the red pipe and when the red pipe is on switch on this peat engine. So that's how this side works. Other side is very similar. Same deal here with the advanced insertion pipe goes down there to the default route. Any dirt will come out this side and go down to the default route. This supply pipe keeps this supplied with bog earth and this keeps the engine supplied with peat and on this gate if the inventory is full I should probably do it the other way space in inventory. Yeah, I think it works better. Signal C on then redstone signal. Whoops. There we go. Yep, that works better. So yeah, they're pretty much the same. So this way I can uh, have them running and switch off automatically when I've got a bit of an overflow. Why are there so many birch saplings? don't like that. Too many birch. I think it's because that's in front. Hmm. I'm going to break some of these. I don't want so many. Too much birch wood. Even though it's cool, I don't want that much. Why is this guy stopped harvesting? Now all those are getting planted. Hmm. See, that's a bit of a problem because it keeps getting resupplied with it. I think I'll half them all. So what I basically the deal is, I want this to be kind of even if I can, but with a bit more of these standard saplings. Just a little bit more, not too much. You know what, if I keep one in at a time, then it should e be even. And just to make it a bit better, two. All right, cool. So that's about it for this episode, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and maybe learnt something new. Um, definitely loving the Buildcraft Gates. It's uh, made managing those forestry farms a little easier with the help of logistics pipes as well. A lot. So, off camera, I'm just going to hook up what I want in my ender pouch. And I guess that's about it. So, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.